Meet Joe. To his family, his co-workers, and his community, he's their one and only. But today, Joe is just one of many patients in the hospital due to infection. If only safe injection practices had been performed properly, it was right there in standard precautions, at the heart of CDC's evidence-based guidelines. All the precautions needed to help prevent infections in any healthcare setting, all based on evidence and all spelled out in detail. If only the clinic that initially treated Joe had known, or maybe they thought safe injection practices were no big deal, except it was a big deal for Joe. It all started with a pain in Joe's hip. So he went to his orthopedic clinic where he got an injection to ease his pain. That's where things went wrong. The clinic gave Joe a dose of medication from a single dose vial, a vial that had already been opened and used. Since single dose vials lack preservatives, there was nothing to stop the bacteria from growing once the vial was punctured. So the bacteria in the vial easily hitched a ride with the injection that went deep into Joe's hip. The infection spread quickly. Joe was rushed to the hospital where he's being treated with IV antibiotics. Now, these healthcare professionals are on top of their game. They practice proper hand hygiene before handling any medication. And they're careful to prepare every injection properly. In fact, there's a designated clean medication area where injections are drawn up and labeled just ahead of each individual patient's needs. This space is away from areas where patients are treated and where any used or soiled equipment and materials might be. They also know that the patient himself is one of those potential contaminants. Everything from Joe's medication bag to the catheter in his body is part of a single interconnected system that's directly or indirectly exposed to Joe's blood. None of this equipment can ever be used on another patient. The clinicians here think about that. They even think about safety when they resupply their medications, requesting the smallest files that meet their individual patient's needs. They also consult with pharmacists and others to learn whether pre-filled syringes or other ready-to-deliver unit dose packaging is available. You see, this team knows that single means single. The one and only dose, syringe, and needle for this one and only Joe. When it's time to prepare a patient's injection or infusion, they choose an unopened single dose vial and swab the rubber septum to disinfect it. Then they use a new sterile syringe and sterile needle for every patient and every injection. After that one-time use, every syringe and needle is discarded. The single dose vial is also discarded, even if there's a little medication left. Without preservatives, the risk of contamination is just too high and the need to protect the patient is way too important. Thankfully, Joe is getting better. And now everyone knows, if you want to be part of his healthcare team, you have to follow safe injection practices, all of them, every time. So don't wait, learn more. Go to oneandonlycampaign.org and review the materials there. Double check your practices against the checklist. Take an injection safety CME. Talk about it in staff meetings. Speak up if you see an unsafe practice. And always, always, always use a sterile syringe, needle, and single dose vial once and only once. Because you only get one opportunity to protect the one and only Joe.